Let's look at some strategies for solving equations with radicals. What that means is we have the variable in the radical house, or in the radic hand. First, we have this equation, the square root of 2x minus 9, all of that equals 7. And x is in the radic hand, in that radical house. Our first step is to get the radical all by itself on one side of the equation. It already is. You can see the left-hand side is just our radical. The next move is to square or cube or whatever it takes both sides. Because we have a square root, we will square both sides. That means the left-hand side is now just 2x minus 9. When you square the square roots of something, you get just that something. And the right-hand side, 7 squared, is 49. Now, this is a really simple equation to solve, and we will continue with our resulting equation, adding 9 to both sides and dividing by 2, and there's our answer, x equals 29. It works. If you plug this 29 back into the equation here, 2 times 9 is 58 minus 9, which is 49, and the square root of 49 is 7. Here's another example. The cube root of all of 3w plus 8, take that plus 4 to equal 9. Our first step is to get the radical by itself on one side, and we have a move to make here. We need to subtract 4 from both sides to make that happen. So, once we do that, now we have that cube root all alone on the left-hand side. Now we will cube, or square, or whatever it takes, but in this instance, because we have a cube root, we will cube both sides of our equation. That makes the left-hand side just 3w plus 8, and our right-hand side now turns into 125 because we had to cube the 5. And now we have a much simpler equation to solve, and we just continue with our algebra strategies, subtracting 8 from both sides, dividing by 3, and there's our answer. w is 39. And again, if you plug it in, it does make everything check out. Let's look at one more. The square root of all of 4m squared plus 21 equals 11. First, we'll get the radical all alone on one side. It already is. Next, because it's a square root, we will square both sides. Now the left-hand side is just what was in the radical house in that radicand, and it's 4m squared plus 21. The right-hand side is now 11 squared, 121. And we will continue with our resulting equation, subtracting 21 from both sides, then dividing by 4, and now we'll take a square root, remembering that there's actually going to be two answers to this, positive 5 and negative 5. Each of those, when you square them, does turn into 25. And that's why both positive and negative 5 work when you plug them back into the original equation.